Now, I want to talk to my gangbanger family. The bigger picture is the truth. Because if your color is red and another man's color is blue, why we're not together? Why we can't be unified as one blood, one cause, one love? You gangbangers know the principle of retaliation. But you are retaliating on the cheapest of principles. You are retaliating because you don't like the color that your brother is wearing. Boys for California haven't grown not a one inch. Why am I killing you and why are you killing me? We gonna be ignorant about this, what, another 20 some odd years? Black people killing black people. My bro Truth was on his bicycle on the way to Walmart. And right when he met that left right there, that's when he met his demise. That's where he was murdered. It hurts me to even think about the loss I took when I lost my son. We don't want to lose any more of our young black men and women. I don't want to kill you because you got on red. Or you shouldn't have to look at me differently because I got on blue. I got caught slipping. Why do we have to continue to destroy? What are we trying to accomplish by destroying our own? The reason I'm in this chair is because I got, five, I got shot five times. What you're doing to yourself is called genocide. You shoot me and you stay around, it's a possibility that I'm gonna find you before the sun go down. They got to stop bickering with each other. Cause there's no way in the world I should be killing my other brother for no reason. The streets have taken so many good people from us and it, 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 it needs to stop. I think gangs should be deceased. We're killing each other and it, it's just senseless. I'm 63 years old, do you think you can make it this far doing what you're doing? I, I done lost countless of family members. I mean, countless. We're left behind. We're left behind hurting. You wanna talk about the streets? I've been there, I lived it. From the age of 12, when I got my first gun. I've seen very few people make it from the streets and actually have a happy ending. If I hate you, then there's something wrong with me. In the 60s, we put up the fist. That means we were stronger together. I was incarcerated for 20 years and four months. With the sentence of life without the possibility of parole. You got convicted of murder, uh, sentenced to life in prison. I planned a robbery. Somebody lost their life. Nothing good comes from this, but dead or in jail. It wasn't no crossfire things and that. It was targeted at me. You don't want to get shot five times. I helped decimate this community. And this is life in Barstow. This is the, the slum pits of Barstow. This is the reality of Barstow.